present the business process flow in UML. We use activity diagrams to represent business process flow. Typically, a business activity or a business event needs to be achieved by some operations, particularly when the operation is intended to achieve a number of different things that require coordination. Now, activity diagrams, what it shows? It shows how business activities are coordinated to provide a service at different levels of abstraction. How the events in a single use case relate to one another, in particular use cases where activities may overlap and require coordination. And also, it is suitable for modeling how a collection of use cases coordinate to represent business workflows. We shall go through a simple example, but before that, let's understand few graphical conventions typically used in activity diagrams. The first three are pretty self-explanatory. They are used to represent an action or the initial state or the final state of the business activity. The fourth one, the merge fork decision combo, looks much like a decision box in flowchart diagrams as we learned in school levels. However, in case of activity diagrams, they can also be used to either merge or fork multiple flows into one or from one single flow. But there is also a dedicated merge symbol or fork symbol that you can use. One difference between these symbols and the previous one is that the previous one can merge only a max of three flows into a single flow because of its diamond shape, of course. Whereas the merge or the fork shapes, the fourth and the fifth one here, can be used for any number of flows. The opposite of merge is fork, where one single flow breaks down into multiple parallel flows. Just remember that the last two symbols do not allow any conditionals. If the merge or flow has to happen conditionally, you don't have a choice. You have to use the diamond box. With these symbols, let's go back to our food delivery app and see how we can use them to create a simple activity diagram. This diagram starts at the black circle where the customer has to opt for search or browse for food. The customer searches for food, finds it, views the details and is happy with the description and makes a decision to buy it. This is one of the happy parts as we call them. But as the initial fork shows, the customer might have opted to browse initially instead of search, picks an item and views it, views the details and makes a decision. This is another happy path. What are the unhappy or negative paths? One such case is when the search item is not found, in which case the customer goes back to the point to search or browse again. Even after viewing an item through search or browse, the customer may not like it. And that creates two more unhappy parts. Note in the diagram how the three unhappy parts are merged together to take the customer back to the choice of search versus browse. Similarly, we can connect another activity diagram for the card order use case and connect the two activities using special connector symbols circled A and B. Do you love assignments? Well, here is one. See the business process below. I am not reading it out. You may pause this video, just read it. So your task is identify all the actors, identify all the boundaries, identify all the use cases, draw one or more use case diagrams with as many necessary diagrams as you think you, you would need and also draw necessary activity diagrams and as a bonus 
Can you create user stories for the same requirement? You may upload your document to any cloud store and share the link with me through the comment section below. I suggest you do not DM me. Let others also see what you have done. Comment on it. Collaborative learning is the best way to learn, right? Next coming up, there are a few other UML diagrams. Not, we are not going to cover all the UML diagrams, by the way. There are a few other UML diagrams that you may need in your toolbox, which are kind of popular in use in the industry. So it's, it's, it's good that you should learn them. Please do subscribe, like, share if you are benefiting from these sessions. Thank you very much.